Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create a stunning infographic template in PowerPoint that looks like this. Beautiful, isn't it? This chart is visually far better than the one that looks like this. This is the typical column chart that I see quite often in a report presentation. So we're going to start with this and we are going to work our way up so that we can create this beautiful look and feel for the chart. So let us see how we can improve this boring column chart. The first thing I'm going to do is to select this chart and then I'm going to go to the design tab in PowerPoint ribbon and then I'm going to change the chart type from a 2D column chart to a 3D column option. As you can see here in column, I go to 3D clustered column and I'm going to say OK. Now I want to give you a caution right off the gate. I wouldn't typically use a 3D column chart unless and otherwise I'm sure about two things. First, the number of data points that I'm about to exhibit are far fewer in number than a typical column chart. As you can see here, we only have four data points to show, so it is not going to be such a stretch for the audience to make sense of the numbers. Second, I always make it a point to add data labels to my 3D column charts. This ensures that your audience are never misguided whenever you use a 3D option. So as long as you're able to keep those two points in mind, you're welcome to use a 3D option than the boring 2D column chart options. Now, I've got this done. The next step is to go to the chart styles and see if there is any chart style that is better than the one that is seen here. So I go to chart styles and I'm going to choose this option that looks visually much better than this boring column chart here. So I'm going to go to this option and you can see there are quite a few things that are done here to make this look far better than a typical uh, 3D column chart. The next thing I'm going to do is to make some simple alterations. First, I'm going to remove this legend here because this is just one data series. There is no point in having a legend that explains that. So I'm going to select this legend and I'm going to delete it. Next, I'm going to remove this chart title as well. I personally prefer to have my slide title to explain the meaning rather than to use a chart title. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to delete that. Then, as I told you earlier, it is always essential for you to add your data labels to a 3D column chart like this. So I'm going to select this and then go to the option here, which is plus, which is called as chart elements, and I'm going to add data labels. Since I have these data labels, I don't need the y-axis, so I'm going to select the y-axis and I'm going to delete it. Now, as you can see, the numbers here are not easily readable. So I'm going to click on the bounding box here, go to home and then increase the font size so that the font size is much bigger for the audience to immediately read. Now, I can leave it the way it is right now. Or if I want to change this to some other shape, I can do that as well. I can right click on these columns, go to format data series, and I can choose to replace these boxes with other shapes like say pyramids or cylinders. So if I want to use say a cylinder, I can use this, I can click on this and you can see instantly I've changed that into a cylinder. And if I want, I can reduce the gap width so that these cylinders are big enough. And now if I want to change the color of these columns, I can go to shape fill and then choose a different color like this. And now you can see that this chart looks visually much more pleasing than the way we started out with. Of course, as always, you can go to shape outline and say no outline so that there is no uh, ugly blue line here that uh, totally spoils the look and feel. Finally, I can make a couple of more changes. The first change that I would like to make is to make the slide title a little more explanatory. Instead of having something as bland as sales performance in May, I can give some information about the reason why I'm showing this chart. My main purpose of showcasing this chart is to tell that Daisy's performance is really very good. So I'm going to say that Daisy performed the best in May. So this is a clearer title than the one we started out with. Then if I want to change the background of this slide, I can make that happen. I can right click, go to format background and instead of a solid fill like this, I can choose a gradient fill. 
I can choose something like this, which is uh, the second option here under black color or gray color. And I can always go to gradient stops and make this look a little darker like this. And this one, the second uh, stop, a little darker like this. And now this look and feel is far better because we have chosen a lighter color for our chart background. So a darker color for the slide background would make this uh, chart look a little more uh, visually appealing. The next thing is I'm going to change the font color for the title. So I can go here, go to white color for the title. Now when I go to slideshow, you can see that this version of the chart is far better than the default chart we started out with. Now once again, let me reiterate that you should never use a 3D option unless and otherwise the number of data points is fewer and that you can back each of these uh, data points with clearly marked data labels. Now talking about column charts, I want to show you some creative alternatives from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This bundle is a collection of more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that take the look and feel of your PowerPoint slides to a whole new level. This is our performance versus target chart. We didn't just stop at creating a column chart here. We have a beautiful context laid out for the column chart by way of these lines which represent target. It is always essential to provide context whenever you create your charts. A variation of this performance versus target chart is this one, which is called as dash and dots chart. Of course, this is something that we created. As you can see here, this represents the performance above and below a certain target. These lines represent target and these are performances above the target and here are performances below. Sometimes representation like this is far more insightful than a typical representation like this. This one is bars and arrows chart. And as you can see here, this bar chart is visually more appealing than a typical bar chart that you would see in a board presentation. The next chart is a special one. This one shows the top performer for each of the months. And what differentiates this chart from a typical chart is, you can see here, the name of the top performers is appearing right next to the data labels here. And this one shows the target performance and this is the performance of the individuals for that particular month who have really done well. Now I can always change any of these elements by right clicking and going to edit data. And let us say for the month of March, uh, I want to change the name of the top performer. Instead of uh, Bob, let us say this is uh, Harry. I can change the name here and I can hit enter and instantly you can see that the name is changed here. Now, if I want to change the performance figure to say instead of 19, say I want to have it as 25, I can do so and it is represented directly. So it is very easy to change any of these uh, from our charts here. And that is the reason why I feel it always makes sense to use a template like this rather than to create these kind of advanced charts yourself. The ones that I showed you are just a few samples from our comprehensive all-in-one bundle. There are far more interesting options in the bundle. All that and more is available in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This bundle is a collection of our best-selling PowerPoint templates packs like our PowerPoint Charts and Diagrams CEO Pack 1, CEO Pack 2 which has graphics and concepts, Advanced Animations Pack which has more than 750 cutting edge animations that help you to tell a visual story, Visual PowerPoint Graphs Pack which has data driven PowerPoint graph templates like our dual thermometers, bullet charts, speedometers, visual pie charts, dashboards, etc. Flat Design Pack which has modern flat design style PowerPoint templates. Hand-drawn Graphics Pack which has slight templates that look very informal like this. Themed Title Templates that give a good first impression to your audience. And more than 400 new consulting models and frameworks that are not available anywhere else in any of the template sets in the market. If you are someone who is serious about making presentations that influence your career and business, then this is the best PowerPoint bundle you can invest in. And one more thing, as a thank you for watching this video this far, I am happy to offer you our free 5-day email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. 
Each of the ideas that I share in this practical email course is extremely easy for anyone to pick up and apply in the next presentation. You can sign up for the free email course by clicking on the link here. So please do click and I will see you inside the email course.